New kids are here and we're setting up a temporary space. We do this to help them get used to new places, voices, and smells. It also helps with litter training young kids because they always have a litter box nearby. So for their litter box, I'm going to use one of the containers that cat food comes in. This is great for a number of reasons. These kittens are young enough that they probably don't have a lot of experience with litter boxes. Um, because this is smaller and shorter, it'll be easier for them to get into. And then using scissors, I'm going to cut one side of it so that they don't have like a big hurdle to step over um, when they're trying to get into the litter box. Let's see if I can just pop these out. Yeah, it's actually not needed, so I just popped it open like this. And we're gonna fill it with a light layer of litter so that they can get used to the texture. With kittens under five weeks, you want to use pellet litter so they don't end up ingesting the litter. So at the bottom of every playpen we use, we like to line it with puppy pads. Uh, this is because cats might have accidents, they're really young, and they'll make a food, they'll make a mess. If not with accidents, then definitely with their food. Um, one of our uh, followers actually mentioned in the comments that there are reusable puppy pads available. So we did order those and we're using those with a litter that's coming in later this week, but we still have these to finish up. And they come in a lot of different sizes, so if you know exactly what you need, it'd be pretty easy to find. You wanna have these around your litter boxes and the feeding area, because that's where the biggest messes will be. It also makes cleaning up a lot easier. Since you don't have to wipe every surface down, you can just roll all these up and lay some fresh ones down. So for placement, we wanna place the litter box as far away from their food as possible. So what we usually do is put the litter box in one corner and then we'll put the food in the opposite corner and line the sides with things like toys, bedding, a heating pad, stuff like that. Next, I'm adding a cat bed and heating pads. Kids need a source of heat since they can't regulate their body temperatures well this young. You can use a snuggle sack, which you can microwave every eight hours, or you can use a pet heating pad. We're using pet heating pads with this litter. It needs to be plugged in, but it doesn't get too hot and it's larger than a snuggle safe. I just pull it through the opening and zip up the playpen the rest of the way. Then I can set up the timer and heat levels. I'll start with setting six for the heat and set it on a 24 hour timer. Next, I'm gonna add different cat toys for stimulation. This includes some toys that make noise, toys that roll, mouse toys, and toys with feathers. Then it's time to get the kitten situated. So before we move them into the playpen, we're going to open up the box, make sure they get a little bit more used to their surroundings. You can see Abdul is petting them, they're getting used to his smell, and just being in a different place. We can transition them to the playpen once we see that they're feeling okay. No one is looking too stressed or too alarmed. They're kind of just calm. And now we'll get to introduce the kittens. So the one that's being picked up right now is Sunny. They're all listed as female, but we know that it's unusual to have a female orange cat. We'll probably figure out in a few weeks or so whether it's actually a female or a male. So this cat is Rainy. And the final cat is Cloudy. Now we didn't choose these names for the kittens, they came with these names from the rescue, and we're going to hold on to them. Now that the kittens have been in the playpen for a minute and got to explore their surroundings, we're going to make sure they get fed. We're giving them a can of wet kitten food. It's pate, I always like to squeeze this down so that it's easier for them to get to. We are just going to give them one plate right now and as they get older, move into different feeding bowls. Before I give them their food, I'm going to make some final adjustments, just moving the heating pad between the litter box and their food. You don't want those two near each other. Now that I'm placing it in, it's going to start to work its magic. You can see that Sunny is already smelling it and coming closer. Rainy is now already eating her food. You can see Cloudy starting to come as well. Now Sonny's funny, he was going to eat half up, half down like this. So I'm just going to help him by bringing him over, showing that it's okay to be near us. Cloudy got a little discouraged too, but we have her there. And then with the food right in front of them, they won't be able to resist. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching and hope this helps you set up your space for your future cat or kittens.